Welcome back to my channel. I just got one question. How you like the haircut though? You see the lineup? Uh, you see the curls? Uh, like, hold up. Like, hey, I'm a fucking snack. But anyways, let me just get on to this video that I'm about to do. It's a dreadlock video. And I used to have dreadlocks. And now I don't, but I still like to do them. I love doing my own hair. And now I get to help my friend with his journey. So without further ado, let's get that shit in. And if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. The squadron already, know, already knows what to do, so it's nothing. Let's get it. So now, I got the olive oil. And I'm going to be putting the olive oil all through his hair. I'm going to make sure I massage it into his scalp and everything. Like, I'm adding it. Like, we can't be going too light with the olive oil but we can't be going too strong with the olive oil either i had just the right amount i massage into his scalp so it can have an even distribution through his locks and to his scalp and i'm just looking at his hair just kind of see where i'm how i'm gonna go in with this tropical roots twist cream and I put a little dab on my hand so it's e for easier application so I'm not reaching the whole time during this video. I'm kind of just pulling stray hairs out the way so I can get a clean part. So once I got the clean part, I'm going to twist it with the finger coil and then So I'm going to comb the root and I'm going to make sure that the roots all combed out so that the lock is at its full length before I coil it so we can get a nice cylinder effect when his hair finally starts to fully lock. And I'm going to comb coil this one. So I take the hair, I put it between the comb and I twist my comb to the right. I like to twist his hair to the right regardless if I'm finger coiling it, comb coiling it, palm rolling it. It's always going to be to the right if he ever goes through me. And after I'm done with that, I always clip the hair. Some hair you don't need to clip, but his hair is a type that you need to clip. So I'm just going on each lock the same way I showed you guys. I'm combing the root. I'm adding my little product. I don't put too much product. We don't want no buildup. He has a problem with buildup. But I'm trying to make sure that we keep it, you know, so it has a nice hold, gives him a nice shine. The olive oil should help with the, that shine. And everything seems to come together after the haircut. The locks is nice. The haircut's popping. The lineup's straight. You feel me? Hey, you already know. So we just gonna keep it lit. I'm adding my product, I'm making sure it gets throughout the hair and I'm using the comb to kind of help with the distribution of the product and I'm combing out the root at the same time. It's a win-win. And I'm comb coiling it, I'm comb coiling the root, the new growth. But I guess I'm gonna finger coil it too, shit. <laughs> And then once I'm done finally getting it tight, not too tight, to where I'm like pulling the scalp, I clip it off. I keep adding product to each individual and I give it the attention it needs. I'm combing out the root, I'm twisting it up, and then I'm clipping it. It's a very simple, yet easier said than done process. So let me know in the comment section what what 
uh, method do you guys use for maintaining your locks or are you free form? I want to know it all. I want to hear it. When I had locks, I did the, uh, the palm roll and then I went to interlock. So this is his hair all clipped off. He likes his hair clipped to the side. So this is per request and it's looking real right. And all he needs is a haircut to let it come through. As I finish drying his hair, I'm pulling out clips as needed and I'm checking, but before I pull out the clip, I'm checking to see if it's dry because no one wants to be walking around with half unraveled locks because the person doing the locks forgot to dry the hair thoroughly. I'm getting every clip and I notice that his hair is very shiny at this point. That's because of the olive oil that I put in his hair prior to doing the retwists in the tropical roots, but I use a little bit of that. Now we made it to the barber. We're at the Bow Barber Shop in Auburn. He's getting a fade done. It's going to be a clean one too. It's a great barber shop. I get my hair cut here also. And the barber that's cutting his hair right now is Manny Boy underscore Barber Life. And his Instagram is going to be in the description.